What if the Quebec Bridge collapse of 1907 had become the accepted standard for modern construction? On August 29, 1907, the Quebec Bridge crumbled into the St. Lawrence River, killing 75 workers instantly. But imagine if engineers had shrugged and said, well, that's just how bridges work. Today, every major bridge project would budget for hundreds of deaths as routine operating costs. Construction workers would kiss their families goodbye each morning, knowing collapse was scheduled for Tuesday. Engineering schools would teach disaster management instead of structural integrity. Cities would plan bridge reconstruction cycles like garbage collection, marking calendars for the next inevitable failure. Insurance companies would offer bridge collapse coverage alongside flood protection. The Golden Gate Bridge would have fallen six times by now, each collapse live-streamed as scheduled entertainment. Infrastructure would be designed with expiration dates, like milk cartons, but deadlier. We'd have bridge collapse weather forecasts and evacuation sirens. One engineering mistake normalized would have turned construction into a death lottery. Sometimes the worst disasters are the ones that teach us never to accept failure. 